to identify this serum i'm gonna show you in it you have a three inscription which is the lot the manufacturing date and the expiring date so when you open the pack this is the bottle this is how it's gonna look the vitamin c has to be inscribed on it hi beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is mabel i want to show you how i make my special oil mixture for winter and matter stay tuned as i show you these are the oil i'm going to be mixing into the fair and white brightening oil this is the fair and white brightening oil uh, this is the a massage and body oil it contains almond oil and grape seed oil this is the ohoba oil ohoba oil as we know helps to reduce oil production if you are the if you got an oily combination skin is very good and also good for dry skin as well this is the DIY carrot oil and this is the orange oil DIY you can check one of uh, my videos on how to make this oil this is the DIY coconut oil this is the tissue oil which I got from Avon is also good. and this as we know is the serum which contain vitamin C this is another serum as well and last and foremost is the clearance lotus oil so I just want to make this video short so I'm going to be adding this product into this brighten oil so i'm going to open it as you can see the oil is less than one quarter so i'm just going to start off by adding this oil that contains almond oil and um, grapeseed oil this is one so i'm just going to add a um, this best way to mix this product is to I'm gonna add three drop a uh, three teaspoon of this oil inside is to mix it into the container and you shake it properly all together. You can add more if you want. So I'm gonna add the oba oil. Gonna add one teaspoon of this. You can add more the carrot oil. I'm gonna be adding two to three teaspoon. I'm gonna leave the measurement in my description box. If you want a more vital complexion our advice to add five or six teaspoons of this into it for you to get a more defined or uh, good complexion oh, i don't want this oil to be wasted oh my God. that's three so i'm gonna add one more i make four teaspoons of this into this because it's getting cold now this is very good for amateur and winter so this is the orange oil you can check out my video for the benefit of this oil so I'm just showing you how to mix this I'm going to add two teaspoons of this of the orange oil the orange oil is very good for oily combination it helps to moisturize and also helps to enhance complexion so i'm adding two of that you can add more because the oil quantity i'm adding is less than one quarter 
so that's why I don't want to add more and I don't want my skin to be too light you know winter makes your skin since you don't sweat and there's no sun uh, it's really the hair and the uh, atmosphere makes helps to beautify your skin and it helps to make your skin look good this is the coconut oil so you can add one, teas one teaspoon of it or more depends then the tissue oil which I got from Avon you can get it online and check it this is the Avon skin so soft so it's the tissue oil which is very good so I'm just gonna add one one teaspoon of it So the next one is this. I don't want this oil to be wasted, so I'm just gonna put it. You can add 30 to 50 drop of this oil, or you can add. You see, I've add, or you can add one quarter of it, or half of it, or the whole bottle inside. If you want a more brighter complexion. Since I've had a this that contains vitamin C, if you don't have this, you can put this. Then we're gonna have the vitamin E. We need the vitamin E, very, very essential. It's very compulsory, you put vitamin E. You can put one quarter of the vitamin E inside. Don't want to waste any of this oil. It's very important. See, so it's coming out. Very composed. We put vitamin E and vitamin C inside. So the last one is the lotus oil. I'm gonna be putting the whole of this inside. It's a small sample of the oil I collected from the shop. So it's from Clarence. This lotus oil is very, very good. It's good for oil, oily combination skin. It's good for normal and dry skin as well so I'm just gonna add the whole of it I had I have a little bit and the smell is so beautiful See from the bottle, you can see the color of the oil. You can see it's a bit yellowish. So, and it's oh my god, it smells so good. So, I'm just gonna put a bit of it on my palm for you to see. So, you can see the color of the oil. This is so good. 
By the time I use this oil at the end of inter, ensure you cover it each time you open the bottle. So make sure you put this oil inside plastic bottle like this or a darker look into this cream. You will notice a radiant looking skin, a smooth moisturized skin. In fact, your skin will be soft and it will also be brightened, lighting. Your skin complexion will be light. For you to get a more good result with this cream, I will advise you to exfoliate your skin twice or three times a week and apply this oil morning and night. How to identify this serum, I'm going to show you. Open the pack. This is the bottle. This is how it's going to look. The vitamin C has to be inscribed on it, on the bottle itself. With the bottle in this form facing horizontal and the name of the uh, serum facing upward, you have the lot and the expiring date just underneath it. Then just on um, in between the uh the lot and the expiring date you you have an a rectangle no yeah a rectangle inscription in it a, a rectangle kind of shape inscription where the lot and the expiring date is written on and next to the rectangle inscription you have a number or maybe oh i can't say the number properly but there's a number next to it oh one i can't say properly then underneath the lot and expiring dates you have a dent a small circle dent dipped into the bottle so the way to uh, identify this is just you got three four inscription underneath it which are a, a rectangle inscription where you have the lot and the expiring dates written on it then next to it is a number that's how to identify the origin of this uh, serum, the whitenizer that has vitamin C. As explained with the pack, underneath the serial number, underneath the pack, the box itself, you have three inscriptions, which is the lot, manufacturing date, and the expiring date. I hope you guys can see it, but it's because it's dark. I'm doing this, this video at night. So... And next to the on top of the box at the two at the at both sides you've got vitamin C and vitamin C and next to the if the fair and white is facing you that is the tag name is facing you at the left hand side you have next to the vitamin C you've got a circle with an inscription of original Europe Labo dot demo waiting on it so just gonna show you guys so that's how to identify the original so it's easy you go by the side the serial number on top of it you go fair and white inscription on top of the lid then at the bottom you've got that is I'm gonna with the serial number just at the side where the serial number is at the side when you place it this way you see you have the lot and the expiring date underneath it underneath it then at the top of the expiring and the lot date you've got 30 ml then where the lot and the expiring date is written you've got a number on it in on this bottle i've got o1 so different bottle with different number and it might be o1 as well so you have to watch out for this you've just got four inscription underneath it and this logo has to be there as well Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.